It's your boy Super Mario 1990 coming at you with a Far Cry 6 gameplay reveal reaction. Uh, everybody's doing gameplay reveals this week. May is just a month, I guess. Uh, I did a few yesterday uh, to some games doing some uh, gameplay reveals, and today is Ubisoft's turn. They're doing Far Cry 6. Now, honestly, I've never played a Far Cry game. Uh, I kept hearing about them um, these last few years. But um, I think what really just turned me off was that it was like a first person shooter. So I was kind of like, eh, dismissive or whatever. But uh, this one caught my attention when I saw its first trailer. I believe it was like last year or maybe the year before or something like that. But um, I saw Giancarlo Esposito making an appearance in here playing the main villain. And I'm like, yo, okay. Because, you know, I like him as an actor. Like, he plays some crazy characters, some funny characters. Like, and his resume out there. He's been around for years doing this thing. So I'm like, it'll be pretty interesting to see him as a villain in a video game. Um, so I've been kind of like following it here and there, and now we get a gameplay reveal today. So I just want to check it out, and um, we're going to look at it, and then I will give you guys my impressions afterwards. So here we go. Señor Presidente, what can true yarns do to serve the Anna? True yarns have long memories. We remember how so-called civilized nations treated us when we needed the most. Are you concerned about the terroristas who call themselves Libertad? Terroristas. present our team and finally show you our game in action. With Far Cry 6, we're going to throw you into our most ambitious open world yet, Yara, an island deep in the heart of the Caribbean, filled with rich tropical ecosystems alongside decaying urban landscapes. Yara is an island of contrasts. Isolated and frozen in time for over 50 years after a violent revolution cut it off from the rest of the world, it now finds itself on the verge of collapse. Last year, we introduced you to Yara's Presidente, Anton Castillo, with an amazing performance by Giancarlo Esposito. And Castillo must be a lion, for Yara is full of lions. The reception we've had to Anton and Diego has been incredible, and we're just getting started. Anton is a man hell-bent on returning Yara to his idea of its former glory. 
And while his motivations are far more complex than they seem, the cost of his vision will be paid in blood. If a dog refuses to break, then we must put them down. To achieve his dream for Yara and his son Diego, Anton has clamped down on freedoms, instituted brutal social reforms, and cast anyone who speaks out against him into forced labor. His oppression of the Yaran people has pushed the island to the brink of revolution. When tyranny is law, revolution is order. Yara, once considered a jewel of the Caribbean, is now a powder keg. And you are the match. Your name is Danny Rojas, and you'll experience the revolution through Danny's eyes right from the beginning. Born and raised in Yara's capital city, you're a young military dropout who wants nothing to do with Anton or the revolution. You just want to get the hell out of Yara. But once you're face to face with Anton's brutality, you realize that the only chance to live free is to lead an army of guerrillas into a new revolution with the very soul of the island at stake. I need you here with us, man. At the start of your journey, you'll get to pick your identity and customize oh, nice. your look while you navigate the ranks of the guerrilla movement. Every aspect of the game has been developed with the goal to make you feel like a guerrilla fighter, battling an asymmetric war against Anton and his army. The guerrilla fantasy is all about making one guerrilla feel like a thousand. Embracing this was at the core of how we crafted our gameplay, our world, and the characters you'll meet along the way. In Yara, you'll find other guerrillas, black market dealers, and everyday yarns who each have their own reasons for joining the cause, including our friendly guerrilla Juan Cortez, a master of invention, an architect yeah, like, of oh, awesome. the South, though. He's our guerrilla teacher. Nah, it's really not him. I don't look like him, though. And class starts now. Class? Y'all gonna take me to school? I've been to school for about a decade. Wapo, you listen. Rule 16. The Guerrero's revolution never ends. Always another war, another cantina, another ugly bartender. Juan Cortez? What do you think gave it away, Wapo? This is a fucking waste of time. Can you whistle? Nah, I can whistle. Nah, you can't listen. <laughs> you right about that. Oh, she can. Oh. Oh, God, Danny. Oh, hey, they got RTJ playing? Rule number one. Hey. A good guerrilla is a hidden guerrilla. What's your name? Uh, uh, uh. Se acabó la radio. We lead our operations in secret camps across the country. Here, guerrillas live. Small pack. We go in, grab our people, kill whoever gets in our way. They smuggling in supplies. I'm a damn traitor. To light some piss and fire to our hook. You got that right. Camp chef, black market dealers. These safe havens got everything a guerrilla needs. Even do it yourself, me a class. You're gonna love it, Danny. Yeah, like a bulldozer in front, that's tight. Rule number two. A good guerrilla masters their environment. This land is your home, Daddy. I'm sure you know every inch of it. The bloodthirsty jungles, postcard shorelines, dead end towns, and our friendly capital city. How you get around is up to you. <laughs> if you want to play it safe, take our secret paths. Carved in the dirt of old revolutions. Hola, Dani. How you doing? Or take a risk and operate in plain sight of Castillo's assholes. I think that's what I'll do. Go ahead and hide your weapons to blend in. Tribes. Where you go? Oh, they ain't getting my money. I ain't bribing nobody. They're gonna get shot. You don't always need to be a loud mouth, Dani. Christmas trees? Do you even grow those here? Mexicans pay crazy money for this. How you think a president can put in Maria's new face? <laughs> okay, go through. Rule number three. Fucked up situations call for fucked up solutions. Hey, he's 
not here. You expect that we are forced? Watch the chopper. I got news for you. We're an army of one against an army of thousands. <laughs> As shit gets real, we make use of whatever we have. We <laughs> call that resolver. That means absolutely everything. Sardine cans. Oh. That batteries. Old motorcycle engines have been built into equipment. Well, the whole gas station down. Long it's very unique, deadly weapon. Are you my rainer? Oh, that's nice. You should have like with this or something? Now we're fucking talking. This is the <laughs> Bremo Backpacks. Handcrafted by yours truly. Each one will make you feel clean, and clean, and clean. clean. And jetpacks. I thought I saw her shooting rockets. That's nice. That's nice. I like that. You and I both know. Want this? Oh, we got tanks. Chopper going down. Yeah, that's yeah, he did. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, she said it. Oh, and the final room. A good guerrilla always brings a friend to love for <laughs> moral support. <laughs> little hand cap Oh, getting a little mean. October 7th? Oh, all right. So there you have it. Far Cry 6 will be available on October 7th on PC and consoles. Twelve days before we my birthday. We hope you enjoyed this first glimpse of gameplay. We have a lot more coming soon that we can't wait to share with you. Thank you so much for watching, and see you next time. Okay. I am looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Uh, there we go. Okay, so, uh... Yeah, like I said, I never played a Far Cry game before, but it don't seem like it's like one of those sequels that like it's like a saga. It looks like each one is its own game. It looks like, uh, well, in the comment section, educate me if I'm wrong, but it seems like it's a new adventure each time. So this one looks pretty good. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of like little like renegade kind of like rebellious action against like these armed military factions. I can't wait to see Giancarlo Esposito's uh, portrayal of a villain in this game. That's gonna look really fun. But I like what they got going on, like with the main character. Like I think you can pick the identity and then like, you know, give them their own look and things like that. I don't necessarily know how deep they go into that with this game. It doesn't seem like they really go that deep, but it's nice to have those options, I feel like. Um, even if it is a first person game, like I'd be kinda looking like if it's first person, why does it matter what your character look like and all this and that? But you still you actually still want personality. And I think they're gonna be doing third person cutscenes too. So that's actually gonna be good. So you can see more of your character, you know, through that. But um, it's actually looking pretty good, uh, like story-wise. It looks pretty fun. It looks to me, it looks like a, like a first-person Grand Theft Auto, like first-person Grand Theft Auto, first-person kind of just cause all like the crazy stuff you can do to access to weapons and vehicles that they give you. Like, they they ride around in tanks. I think I saw an aircraft. I think I don't know if it was a cutscene or if you was actually in one of those things but you know we got cars and everything the weapons look crazy that jetpack looks real fun like it's it's like what it's a jetpack and then it shoots rockets then it's a flamethrower it's like all kind of crazy stuff going on in here these weapons is just off the chain just real creative it's gonna be real fun to kind of play with those and play around with this open world and yara and everything and um the one thing that i'm wondering about are the graphics um, I'm not entirely sure if it's natively for the current gen consoles like PS5, Xbox Series X, but it looked more like it looked more like last gen, looked more like PS4, Xbox One. Um, I'm hoping that's what this footage was captured off of. I mean, there were times where it looked pretty crisp and clean. Uh, like I think it was pretty much just the cutscenes, but I mean, there have been, been games that looked a lot better. I mean, it looked pretty clean and crisp, but then it was like the gameplay stuff. It was looking like it's like this is looking real last genish. So I, I mean, I gotta look into it. I don't know if it's natively for uh, this current gen or if it's for the current gen through backward compatibility. I don't know, but yeah, something about the graphics is like it's a little, you know, like these days you can be up. And this this is from Ubisoft. It's a AAA game from Ubisoft. Ubisoft they can bring it when they want to. 
Uh, they don't always do it though, but some about this game, uh, except for the cutscene, some about is a little graphically off, but it's not the worst though. It's, it's not like, it's just you've seen, you know, quite a few games that have looked better. I would assume this would be up there, but it's kind of not. It's kind of lagging a little behind in that regard. But other than that, though, um, it's looking pretty solid. Uh, it's coming out October 7th, they said. That's 12 days before my birthday. Um, if I do get it, I'll end up doing like a playthrough series, and then I'll definitely do a GMV of it uh, if I do get the game. I just want to see more about it, though. Um, they said they're going to do more announcements, so I'll be keeping an eye on things and you know checking it out more and more see if i really really want to get it or maybe i'll just wait but uh story wise so i like what they got going on gameplay wise i like what they got going on it seems pretty fun so i can't wait to just get more news about it and that soundtrack looked pretty dope i mean i don't know if the songs are going to be actually in the game but i would assume they are this seems like a game that would use contemporary music you know just to you know the story out and things like that and they they featured uh, run the jewels in here anytime you got rtj on the game it's gonna be a banker it's just about to be a banker that's like just a rule but um yeah man i'm looking forward to this game but yeah if y'all looking forward to it let me know if y'all played any games or all the games in the far cry series please let me know because i'm very uneducated on the series uh like i said i've just been hearing about it the last few years and i just kind of like shook it off like ah, first person i don't really care about that but uh, when I saw Giancarlo Esposito make an appearance as a villain in this one, I was like, hmm, I'm going to keep my eye on this one. See how this one develops. But uh, yeah, it's looking pretty interesting so far. I just want to get some more news. I might get it. We'll see. I'll let y'all know closer to the time when they announce more things, um, how interested I really do get in this game. But yeah, man, this is your voice over Mario 1990, and I'm out. Peace in.